Hennessy, it's interesting, right? How much Hennessy has permeated and is sort of integrated into the black or African-American experience. The interesting thing is it's actually a French company. So how does a French company that I don't believe is actually black owned at all, how does that end up becoming such a huge integrated portion of the African-American black experience? The idea was that there were African-American artists who weren't getting value for their art here in the US and so they moved over to France. There they introduced, they were introduced to Hennessy and they started drinking it and right off the bat Hennessy became essentially this drink that was associated with black excellence or artistry, right? Then the world wars happened, America got involved, we started using African-American troops. Now, as a way to be able to thank the African-American troops, they were gifted bottles of uh, Hennessy. I believe Hennessy was one of the first brands to ever use African-American spokespeople, one of the first brands to advertise in African-American publications, and one of the first brands, I believe, to actually uh, hire an African-American executive, right? And so it's different than what some of the other brands at the time tried doing once they realized that, oh my God, African-Americans are actually starting to have some disposable income. Hold on, let's try to get for this, is they would either create an alternative version of their product or what they did is they would only market within African-American populations. So you would only see ads of African-American um, spokespeople in what they called the urban areas, right? So they always had an urban arm. Right. Um, so it always like felt that uh, as soon as you moved out of any of those areas that had African-American populations, suddenly the brand was all back to being what it normally is. Right. So it felt very fake and, and genuine. However, Hennessy didn't really play that card. Hennessy continued to uh, sort of put this idea of black excellence forward. And that all cultivated, I think, one of the most impactful ads I've seen in the last 10 years was the one uh, that has uh, Nas, the rapper. Right. He, um, he was reading a letter to his daughter. And in it, he talks about sort of African-American excellence over the last like couple, uh, the, the, uh, throughout history, uh, specifically mentioning, I think it was Black Wall Street at the time and all, all these like other things where he essentially, these are the, this was the African-American experience. And throughout this entire letter, as he's asking her to essentially stay motivated and to become the best version of herself for, uh, as she can, he's drinking Hennessy, right? And so it further associates that idea that Hennessy is part of the Black African-American uh, excellence experience, right? Any other brand doing that, if they're not already black owned, comes off as a cheap sort of marketing play, right? However, when Hennessy does it, Hennessy has the history to kind of back it up. 